Gosh, this, to think what I used to think beer was. <laughs> Just a simple way to get drunk. So I loved how this film revolved around a microbrewery, because I'm totally into microbreweries right cool. now. I mean, were you guys kind of well-versed in that world at all, or? No, no, I didn't know anything about it at all. And gosh, this, to think what I used to think beer was. <laughs> Just a simple way to get drunk. No, but this <laughs> film taught us about, you know, the complexity of different varieties of beer and about the community surrounding craft breweries, which is a really wonderful community, especially in Chicago. And uh, I heard actually Joe, um, director Joe Swanberg, uh, he actually brews his own beer in his basement. Yeah. Did he kind of give you guys a 411 or did you taste any of it? He gave yeah. us a full uh, tutorial and when we first showed up, he in his basement, he's got a little tiki bar, he set up a bunch of different bar uh, beers from light to dark and we each had to take a sip, like a wine testing, but a beer <laughs> testing, talk about what we thought of each one and slowly start picking the type of beer that we liked to start defining yeah. our character's relationship with yeah. beer. You know who else cra uh, brews beer? <laughs> President Obama. Does he really? Yeah, he's into craft beer brewing. I mean, is I mean he's from Chicago. Yeah, it's true. I mean, does he do it in the White House? Yeah, they have their own no craft beer. Uh, Joe sent me an article right after we finished filming. He's like, look, the president does it too. Obama's a cool cat, he's man. Cool guy. He's a cool guy. Yeah. So, I mean, maybe in like maybe 80% of the film, there's like a beer in your guy's hand. Yes. Uh, how much drinking actually went on a on lot. set? Was, wow. And was it real about eighty percent of the time? Yeah. <laughs> Whenever we're drinking beer, that's real. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, all the beer is real, and it's from you know Revolution and Three Floyds. Joe Swamberg got his favorite beer, and would have cases of it on set so that there was always yeah. good beer. So no, no drunken filming moments. Then. No, I mean I'm sure there's some scenes in there that, um, that were like uh, maybe they were filmed towards the end of the day where we're a little bit more woozy. That's right. But no, we can both handle our beer. It's worrisome. It's it's really it's scary. It's scary. <laughs> I don't know there was one means. scene when Anna Kendrick, who is a bit of a lightweight, she and I are playing cards uh, oh, yeah. at the and we had one big beer and you know the I always play every game I play since growing up. There's always punishments. Uh, my friends nicknamed me Rulebook because I like to make rules on games, and if you screw up, there's a punishment. And one of the punishments when you're drinking has to be to finish your drink. So we were playing, and we were shooting, and she's gamer and whatever, and I go, you got to chug it. So she chugged it. Well, she didn't realize it was real beer. And we continue the scene, and all of a sudden, Anna starts improvising, and it's really funny, but it's very different than I had ever seen her act as this character. She's, like, really sassy and, like... You know, a little bit like just a you know, just a little troublemaker. And I'm like, what are you doing? And afterwards she's like, Is that a real beer? And I'm yeah. like, oh, She dude, weighs eighty pounds. I was like, dude, yeah. you are. She looks small. I mean, guess she didn't really, realize she was drunk, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. She's a very funny drunk. What does it take to kind of be your guys' drinking buddies? Mm. You gotta be able to drink a lot. Yeah, you gotta uh, be open to spontaneous tattoos. Yeah. You gotta be able to take a joke. Yeah. Um yeah. and you gotta high be high pain tolerance. High pain tolerance. Yeah. You gotta be a weirdo. Yeah. And any beer of choice? I love uh, Three Floyds Daisy Cutter. And I like anything out of Revolution in Chicago. Yeah.